Okay, so we got a uh, dryer that's making a squeaking sound. Motor's good, belt's good, so we're going to go in and change an idler. Um, did a pre-diagnostic on it yesterday. And so we're going to put a uh, pulley idler in. So I'll show you the piece right now. There's our pulley idler. Just a little keeper clip that holds it in. And then we got a little bushing right here that also goes in. We take the uh, top three bolts out of the lid. That'll lift off. Take that out of the way and remove it. And we're going to drop the power. The access panel there. Most of them are nut driver. This one was Phillips. So we're going to drop our three power feeds. Being careful not to drop any parts. We'll have to go fishing around for them later. This happens to be a th old style uh, three wire dryer wired with a four wire plug. And we need a large nut driver for that. Now we'll proceed to uh, removing the rest of the nuts that are uh, holding the back in position. Don't forget that one. A lot of people missed that one. And then you got two on the top corner. One in the middle cross member. And that frees up your back. pieces and all kind of sharp metal, a lot of dirt and dust. Carefully lift that out of the way and set it off to the side.
that's where we're going for. Clean all this dust and dirt out of here first. Super fire hazard. Might as well get it while you're in the machine. There's always a bunch of it. Undo the belt off of the tensioner. You see, it's so worn out that the uh, little retaining clip came out without any issue at all. It just popped right on off. And, uh, and pull that. Uh, off and take a look at that. There's that old bushing. I'm remove the old bushing right there. And get in here and clean all this dust out from the motor. It ends up everywhere. And that free to make sure you get it all out of there. Okay. You can see there's a lot of dust that gets in around that motor, around the uh, slack adjuster, and all. You need to get all that out of there. the uh, new bushing in. It's a little different. The old bushing is a uh, nylon. new one's kind of a fiber paper one. That goes in over top of the shaft. There's the new idler. You see the difference? The belt's worn it down. It should look like this. It's completely worn out. So as the uh, machine gets up on a load, it starts squealing. It's pulling it down in there and making it squeal. And uh, also the inside shaft gets worn out really bad. So we got the uh, bushing in there. And we're going to put the, uh, the new idler in there. Nylon keeper goes in next. 